hello everyone welcome to my channel on today's video i will show you how to create a firewall rule in a pf sense to allow internet on these different machines that are located on a different network adapters so for this pf sense it has five network adapters one is here and this is the admin machine connected to lan one file server is connected to lan 2 domain controller is connected to lan 3 and users machine is connected to lan 4 so for these uh, three machines here they have a static ip address except for the users machines that are getting their ip address through dhcp so the pfsense is already set up i will just go ahead show you how it looks like so it has five network adapters i have my one lan opt1 opt2 opt3 here this is my nat the first network adapter and i have the second network adapter le1 which is lan1 and the second which is opt1 opt1 this is the third network adapter lan2 opt2 which is the fourth network adapter which is connected to LAN 3 and OPT3 which is LE4 this is the fifth network adapter which is connected to my LAN 74 so we'll go ahead and access the web configurator uh, from the admin machine 192.168.1.1 go to firewall go to rules under, my, uh, under the rules on the LAN where my admin machine is located i have the uh, firewall rule here so as you can see protocol is tcp udp so this is lan net i created an alias for uh, the internet ports to allow internet on the admin machine so on port 80 443 53 which is http https and dns allow internet on admin machine the same thing for opt1 this is where my file server is located and this is my opt2 where my domain controller is located so if we go ahead and open this rule so i have the action is pass i have the interface is opt2 where my domain controller is located i have protocol tcp udp for the source it is opt to net so for um, the destination is any but the port is you will say other which is internet port this is the alias and description is allowing internet on the domain controller let's go ahead and open our DC And try to access an internet okay so I'll try to access hacks a box website as you can see I'm able to because I do have an internet now we'll go ahead and disable this rule we'll go back to the domain and try to access the hack the box website again and i shouldn't be able to because i do not have an internet this page can't be displayed and that should make it for this video thank you for watching